Hello everyone and welcome to exam B. In this video, I am going to talk about the SEBI IT content mapping with the exam B syllabus, uh, which is also the syllabus of SEBI. So as we all know that SEBI notification is being out and uh, the detailed notification will be out in April. So before that, uh, I'm going to give you a glance of the syllabus from the last years. Hopefully it will not change this year as well. So keeping that all in mind, I'm going to map the content that we provide at exam B to the syllabus of SEBI and how you can navigate uh, uh, in the course. Also, what all expectation you can have from the course and also at last but not the least, the mock test and uh, how you can find them and how you can attempt them. So let's start with the basic uh, layout of the website. So once you uh, like join our course, you can get something like this as in dashboard. So this will be your dashboard under my content. Uh, you first go to your my course section from there, you will get your active courses under which you are enrolled. After that, under a particular course, you choose that course and go to my content. So these all sections are there when we say what we provide for SEBI grade A IT comprehensive course. So it is introduction and strategy under which you will get the previous year paper as well as some introduction videos as well as some strategical guidance video. After that, there will be phase one paper one, which will include your QRE section and your GA section. Then coming to this main point of the syllabus, which is the uh, paper two, which is information technology, that is the professional knowledge for our course. And this one will be common for phase one and phase two. So you don't have to like navigate for phase one and phase two separately. It will be altogether given under the uh, third option that is paper two common for phase one and phase two. Then you have paper one phase one, which is actually the English descriptive. Then you will have phase three, which is the interview. You will get guidance on the interviews, also some recorded videos and classes for the interviews, how to prepare, how to crack them. Then you will get live class recordings. These will be the classes which we take uh, live every week and of different subjects. So like quants, reasoning, English, general awareness, English descriptive, IT. So all these classes will be under this uh, live class recording. You can go there and can select the subject and can watch the recording of a particular desired date. Then you have full length practice test under which you will get different uh, uh, levels of test for phase one, phase two and uh, the coding paper as well. So I will be discussing about the paper two common for phase one and phase two and the full length practice test in this video. So that is the part where actually I'm going to show you only the IT part because most of you are interested in uh, the IT syllabus only. So let's see. So once you click on paper two, common for phase one and phase two, you will be uh, getting some option like information technology, professional knowledge. Then if you click under that thing, you will get different sub chapters. Okay. Like here you are having IT networking, C programming, data structure, SQL and loops. So uh, now I am going to uh, map the content which is on the left hand side to the right hand side which is actually our content. So from the syllabus of SEBI you can see I have taken the screen uh, snipping from this particular thing that what exactly they ask in the syllabus and how and where we are going to cover them all. So when we say networking concept, you can see here there is OSI model, LAN technology, TCP IP and devices of the networking and the application layer protocols along with firewall. So you can get all these things under the IT networking topic. Also, the information and cyber security concepts are related to IT only and you will be getting these under the IT networking only. So we have clubbed these two sections six and seven number under IT networking. Also, if you see now totally IT networking will give you 20% of the marks out of hundreds of for the phase one. Now, the very important chunk in this particular exam throughout the phase one and phase two is programming concepts. And here you can see they have mentioned the concepts that you need to learn in Java, C and C++. So this will be accounted for 30% of the marks and that is all covered under the section of OOPS concept and C programming language. So you have to cover these two uh, sub chapters in order to complete your number three that is programming concept with Java and C++. Along with that we have data structure with you 
so it is not like you if you don't know anything on the programming and uh, you can start uh, the programming first you should know uh, about data structures because if you don't know about the data structure it will be a half hour uh, done preparation and data structure is a crucial part for your phase two as well so what actually we suggest to complete c programming data structures and oops concept all together during the phase one preparation so that you are ready for your phase two preparation okay so data structure if you see is not mentioned in the course of phase one but it is very 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 important for phase one as well as it is explicitly mentioned in the phase two syllabus which i'll be showing you after this particular slide now the next one is the sql queries for that you have a separate chapter which will give you 10 marks for the sql so these are the four topics that are covered out of nine from the uh, syllabus of sebi now let's take a look on the remaining five items total there are nine items anyhow so the very first thing here that i have taken is the it dbms so database concepts are covered under the it dbms then data analytics languages uh, like python or r and the concepts along with them are covered in data analytic languages data warehousing map to data warehousing algorithm under algorithm and shell scripting under shell scripting so now you can see all the phase one syllabus is covered under your phase one or you can say the phase one or phase two common for it under the exam because now what you should do once you like let's say you enroll for our course how what you should do you should immediately start from the number that is the programming concepts data structures and oops concept because they will give you most marks and also they are important for the phase uh two so whatever is given in uh, c programming data structure oops you start immediately with that then you come to the part of algorithm after that you can complete anything in any order depending upon the weightage whatever gives you more weightage complete that first and whatever give you less weightage like data warehousing and shell scripting complete them before like one or two weeks of the exam don't rush to complete them in the very first week now this is all about the phase one syllabus and how we are actually covering it along with this thing uh, you will get the like when you go inside every chapter you will get the videos you will get the pdfs as well as the chapter test and also if there is any tough topic which is not understandable enough from the videos and uh, for like pdfs like in algorithms that uh, when you see here there is hashing there is like uh, design techniques which is actually something uh, people lack uh, conceptually so we will cover them in live class as well so there will be some overlapping between the live classes topic and the topic that you have here which are actually tough for you to understand and also in the live classes we will have revision things and uh, some concepts which are difficult to uh, like uh, understand for the people who are actually not known to the particular uh, exam now syllabus and content mapping for the phase two so for the phase two you will get one uh, like uh, item that is called as coding question for phase two and under this all the three things will be covered it is not exactly three i'm having the back data screenshot that's why i have added oops concept in the last so oops concept is also now the part of uh, the phase two and you can see now whatever you are going to have here as the topic it is already covered in your phase one right data structure you will cover that in your phase one string manipulation you will cover that under programming as well as under the algorithms right then algorithms are anyhow covered and oops concepts are definitely covered so now what you need to know about the phase two is that you are done with the understanding of the concepts from phase one you know the subject now now you have to practice for the coding question because phase one is mcq phase two is coding paper so now you need to change the pattern of your understanding like uh, not conceptually but how to actually uh, transfer it as you do it in mcq or as you do it in the coding questions so these all things are there for the phase two and phase one for IIT in our course and uh, this is the content mapping between the syllabus of sebi and the uh, thing that we provided at exam b if there will be any new addition in april then we are going to add that also and uh, hopefully we don't expect that thing so you can rely on this one now 
the very next thing that uh, you can uh, expect uh, which is very at most important is the life class recording so you can see here you can get the life class recording for every subject and i am highlighting like let's say information technology class recording then you will be having one more option for class recordings for the information technology once you click that thing you will get a list date wise and topic wise what all topics were covered in the live classes so if you miss any live classes no problem you can cover that before the next live class happen also the live classes will remain at least for minimum 3 months so even if you want to revisit any particular live class which you think is very important you can also do that it is not like they are going to expire very soon now coming to the full length practice test you see there there is paper 1 paper 2 and paper 2 phase 2 and phase 1 so now paper 1 phase 1 is all together with qre and ga along with it part then for paper 2 phase 1 it is actually only the it and paper 2 phase 2 is actually for the english descriptive so once let's say you choose any one of the option you will get the let's say you choose paper 2 phase 1 you will get mains full length practice test under which you will get 10 practice test for uh, sorry i'm mistaken here you will get 10 mock test for paper 1 phase 1 and uh, you will get five full length mock test for paper 2 phase 1 okay so these are the uh, tests that we actually cover in the full length practice test and along with that you will have chapter test for every particular uh, subject and every particular chapter where you can just check what your practice levels are similarly if you say for the paper 2 phase 2 you will have the phase 2 uh, mock test under the section okay so overall this is the idea i will again tell you the number because i think that was kind of a little bit uh, um, confusing for entire paper 1 uh, be it be uh, uh, like uh, phase 1 basically so for entire phase 1 be it be paper 1 or paper 2 you will be getting 10 mock test okay and for the phase 2 you will be getting what five mock test so these are the content so overall 15 mock tests will be there for you to prepare for your sebi exam you can plan them as per your own way or you can follow the study uh, sequence which we provide at exam so i hope you guys got an understanding of the syllabus of sebi as well as the content mapping how you have to read and what you can expect from the course So if you like this video do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are an unsubscribed user because from now on we are going to bring the content related video for SEBI IT and I don't want anyone to miss on these topics because they will be definitely free because they are on YouTube and you can gain a lot and important information from our channel so please uh, stay tuned with us and uh, hit the bell icon okay so that you never miss any update from our side If you want to share this video to other peers of yours who are also preparing for CBIT, that would be great because sharing is caring and learn all together to get a better chance in the selection. If you still have any doubt, you can reach out to us at the email which is shown on the screen or on the call number which is flashed on the screen right now. You can go to our website as well as that is www.examb.com. Prepare 50% faster with Examb by checking out our demo courses as well as getting enrolled with us. So I hope that all was clear. See you in the next video where I build the concept understanding videos and uh, will be there for your preparation throughout the journey. All the best for all the candidates who are going to appear for this 2024 CVIT.